Here's what it's like to take a multimodal transit trip in Los Angeles using a scooter and the LA Metro Green Line. I was heading home to Redondo from the Sender One Climbing Gym by LAX, which I'm pretty sure is the biggest climbing gym I've ever been to. Here you can see I'm riding on a painted bicycle gutter, which are notoriously unsafe and can be uncomfortable to ride on, particularly on wide streets like this, which are designed for high-speed traffic. This one even has an actual gutter in it, which is a nice touch. A typical LA sidewalk here, though somewhat wider than most. This trip was perfect for multimodal transit. There's a Green Line stop a few miles from my parents' place, and the climbing gym is just around the corner from another stop on the same line. It's a little too far to walk, but it's a perfect distance for taking a bike or scooter. I could have biked the whole way, but I'd be riding on some horrible strode like aviation, breathing exhaust in an unprotected lane or on the sidewalk, while cars zoom by at highway speed. I've done stuff like this many times, and I still prefer to driving, but using transit reduces my exposure to pollution and risk, and is generally more relaxing. So this parking garage is like 10 stories. Meanwhile, there are over 69,000 unhoused people in Los Angeles. The average rent for a studio apartment in LA is $1,845. The lack of affordable housing is directly connected to the huge excess of subsidized and zoning mandated private vehicle storage, also known as parking, which directly increases the cost of any development and raises rents. It was raining a little harder when I got to Redondo Beach Station. As you can see, this awning above the platform does very little to shelter transit users from the rain. The material it's made of is transparent, so I don't imagine it would be great in blazing sun either. Riding this scooter was incredibly fun. It feels a little safer and easier than biking, since you're so low to the ground and it's extremely easy to hop on and off. The way it handles and accelerates is fantastic. This Segway brand 9bot scooter has an integrated front and rear lights, a handbrake, a speedometer, and a 40 mile or 65 kilometer range. It has a top speed of 18.6 miles or 30 kilometers per hour. At this point it was too rainy for the camera to get any decent footage, but I made it home in one piece and enjoyed the ride. If you like what I do, please support me on Patreon and join my one other Patreon supporter.